Shippo, part of the Mako team, and this is my kid. Um, I've been playing for seven years now. Uh, I've had almost every piece of gear you can imagine. Uh, it, most of the cheap gear you can imagine. Everything Condor, everything Emerson, uh, but this is my current uh, premier kit. Uh, starting from the base, it's a Mayflower APC, uh, medium plate bag in the medium large cummerbund, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, on the front, the Gen 4 chest rig made by Mayflower that I just threw on the front. Uh, and it's attached via swift clips through the top right here. And if you look over on the side, there's two that you weave in through the pals, and then you just clip it in. Nice. So now, does the, the Mayflower have kangaroo pouch? space back behind it like yep. kind of what we're used to on these new play carriers they have it in the chest rig and the in the chest rig and on the carrier itself but i never run anything in there uh the only well on the plate carrier i run my dual com or the ptt wires through the plate carrier see that okay. so this ptt runs to this radio and this ptt runs to this radio um now i gotta ask you because we're gonna get questions what's up with uh, the double comms man I'm running dual comms lately because I'm doing a little bit more command, uh, a little bit more uh, leadership roles where I need to be in more in contact with more than one group of people at a time. So I bit the bullet, went ahead and bought a uh, uh, Peltor Comtech 3 dual comms and got nice. the PTTs and everything. So for instance, you'll be on command net on one and then squad on the other, whatever? Whichever squad I need to talk to or control. Uh, or any of my red teams that are out there doing secret scoreless shit. Gotcha, man. On the radios themselves, I run Baofengs. Uh, I have a UV5R, and then I also have a 8HP, the high power one, which is 8 watts on the Comtec. So this mic isn't actually a Comtec 3 uh, microphone. It's more like a Comtec 2. Um, but there's a whole bunch of technical shit that I have. So real quick while we pulled up your EarPro here, man, this is EarPro as well. Are you running, is it is it dual comm on the headset as well? Dual comms. Gotcha, so you're... So when you plug it in... One ear is one radio, the other is the other one? Plug it in. Fuck you two. There we go, there's one. And... There's two. So when I have this sitting on my head, I have access to two radios at any given time and they each have a separate PTT. Now, have you ran this setup before, or is this something you really haven't put through the paces just yet? I haven't put it through the paces yet. Everything works. I tested it to make sure it works. Right. But the big test will be Faded Giant here in a week. Gotcha. Faded Giant 3. I mean, all the chaos, all the chatter, you know what I mean? That comes through at a big op on, on the net, man. It's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a task. But that's why I bet the bullet went deep on the money, so hopefully the money will buy. Products. Right, we'll see, man. And for my shoulder savers, I went with first spear, um, the first spear ones, and which is convenient because they come with these little Velcro tabs that you can wind all your cords and everything uh, through. So, for instance, when I have this wire antenna, keep everything nice and neat. Nice and neat. Uh, just your regular mag pole. I haven't turned <laughs> sideways though, so uh, you can get these tabs on a little bit better. Um, so just running four mids on the front. What kind of stuff are you keeping in the uh, Mayflower chest rig there in your pouch? Chest rig itself, I run two <clears throat> pistol mags in the front. Gotcha. I run a multi-tool over here. Uh, this one's usually, I have a, a rag. Just kind of a mini GP type thing. I run just a little lens rag and then some uh, quick spit, which is the best sandy fog I've ever used. Here, Another mag there. Here I run a hand uh, flashlight. There's a magazine in there now, but I usually run a hand flashlight. A little torch action. And then the two general purpose, I put uh, radios in, your cases, your thing. pistol. Spin that around for us. Let's check out the back. So now, are you running uh, plates in there, dummy plates? What do you got in the, in the actual plate pouches? Normally, I run my AR500 plates, but right now, I just have uh, bed, bed foam. Some foam? Some closed cell foam? Just to keep it firmed out. Right. Way. Right on. Okay. Talk to me about your uh, back panel here. Back panel is the Tier Tactical 50-ounce of Solter's back panel. Panel, TYR. Assaulters right? back panel. Okay. Assaulters panel. Assaulters panel. Assault. What? 50 ounce zip on with hydro assaulters back. Panel. So. It's a long name. That is a long name. So the actual, the big pouch, the main pouch is a hydro carrier? Uh, the hydro carrier is up here. You pull that out and That's you that. put your hydro in. Oh, cool. So you can zip that off real quick. Yep. Real nice. And the. 
when you go to zip it off. Yeah. Still leaves uh, PAL's webbing so you can put on another back panel if you like. Gotcha. Let the zipper stay on so easy access on and off. So what's the what's the, the premise? What's the idea behind having a, a zip off back panel? In case you wanted to drop weight, um, in case you want to put another back panel on really quick. Whatever the mission demands. On. That way you don't have to sit there and mess with the webbing of Molly over and over again. I dig that. So you can zip that off, you still got your hydro. You still, well, you can put on another hydro. Right. Uh, Double up, okay. Um, and then this pouch right here. Uh, I did mark, oh. mark Ryan actually puts pumpkin spice uh, nature bars in there. Delicious. Uh, the Austin peanut butter uh, crackers are... <laughs> That's a, shit. that's a crowd favorite for sure. And so I put those in there uh, occasionally. <laughs> just you line them up? Yep. Okay. Easy for the pickings. Yeah, man. And you know, it comes with a good little strip of... Now, are those personal use, or, or have you been known to share those in the field? Because... No, get your fucking own. Okay. 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 Normally, it sits empty. I don't usually use it a whole lot. Um, for Milsim Ops, I use it to carry my... Uh, PVS-14s. I'll drop the PVS-14s in there. I want them on my person. I don't want them to get jacked. Condurp. Condurp. There it is, baby. Whatever, man. Whatever gets her done. Uh, now, did it have Velcro on it? You took oh, it off? Yeah, or? That is Condurp. Ooh, Condurp. Condurp. There it is. Um, and then, anything special about those gloves over there? Oh. The mechanics. Mechanics uh, wear. Multicam originals. Nice. Good gloves. Digging them? How long have you had them now? Since they came out. I bought them the first day you could get them. Mm -hmm. um, so, I'm an OG original guy with the Multicam gloves. Oh, okay. Yep. And then here's some foliage. Yeah, mechanics work gloves, super comfortable. Do the job. For the price. What, what do those run? 20. Yeah. Five? Yeah, 25 bucks, man. And they'll last you, so good deal. Okay, uh, and then you said in that big GP pouch on your, your back panel, you keep. PVS 14. These fellas right here. Let's talk about them, man. Uh, well, they're L3 PVS 14s. Um, mount them to my helmet just with a rhino arm until I get a better mount. But rhino arms do the job, so all you people saying LOL rhino, you don't have night vision, so you dick. Mm -hmm. um, and for the helmet itself, I just have a, the first civilian version of Ops Corps, uh, and it's custom painted because the other paint job was fucking terrible. So that's the Ops Corps base? Base jump. Base fast. jumper. Something right. rather. It, I got it to hold my night vision, and it holds my night vision. Sure. Yeah, um, you know, when, especially when you get into real night vision, you start making that investment. Some of those molded in uh, Chinese knockoff fast helmets, the knockoff ones, they, you got to kind of mod them out, I've noticed. But uh, you can ensure a quality fit with your expensive uh, MVGs when you actually spend the extra dollar to get the, get the ops core. Okay, man. Scooting over. Let's talk about this bad boy you got sitting over here. This is my KWA SR10, which I've had for four or five years now. Yeah, yeah. It was one of the first two GXs that you could ever get. No, didn't you have a Joker stencil on there? That was the SR7, SR7 I had a Joker. Who's this that? is when I tried to do the stenciling and it was- Is that Edward Scissorhands? It was supposed to be Bob Marley. The stencil didn't really hold on, so now it kind of looks Were you like high it. when you did that? No, not this time. Okay, okay. The Joker one I was, and so... Gotcha. It, it surprisingly turned out better. The Joker was awesome. Yeah, it did turn out good. And, uh, so anyways, I have my call sign zip out, or, uh, stenciled in, and then I just did the twig paint job over it. It's all right. Looks good. Serves its purpose. Talk about that, uh, the optic up there. Optic is the Phantom Gear Spectre DR by L... Uh, Spectre DR replica. All right. Um... To be honest, it's the best site that I've ever used, and I've used it any number of them. Um, it goes from one to four instantaneously. I don't really like the red dot illumination, or it's an illuminated site. I don't really use it, but it's besides the weight of it, it's pretty heavy, one to two pounds. But is it really? It's a great site. I recommend. It. Um, okay, and then uh, what kind of bells and whistles you got hanging off your rails up there? Since I run light vision, I went and picked up a D-Ball by GNP. Um, just mounted to the rail normal. I'm a big fan of electrical tape, so I have uh, a or, uh, pressure switch electrical taped on. And so now that, um, that unit's going to be IR laser and a visible laser, or just the IR laser? Both. It has a red Both. visible okay. laser, and it has an IR illuminator and an IR laser. 
Gotcha. What kind of torch you got down there? It's a Ultra Fire 52 something rather. You can get it on Amazon for pretty cheap. Ultra Fire, dude. Bucks. Yeah, absolutely, man. It's bright as shit. Um, mm -hmm. The mount's a dollar. Literally, the mount's a dollar. What's the lumens on it, you know? They say like a thousand, but. The power of the sun. Who knows what it is? It's <laughs> retardedly bright. It's bright. We know that. You um, got me earlier with it, yeah. Pressure switch came with it. So the whole package of pressure switch, the rechargeable batteries that it uses, and the light itself are, is a uh, $26 shipped on Amazon, so you can't beat it. Definitely better than your Surefire. And I mean, if you have the money for the Surefire, get the Surefire. But sure. Better warranty and whatnot. But if you're struggling for the money, or if you just want to make a wiser investment, get the Amazon one. Uh, for the vertical grip, I just have your standard slide on vertical grip and uh, the flash hider is just your typical e white flash hider don't know what's called i think it's called like the phantom oh, phantom call them like the meat tenderizer type thing yeah man 409 millimeter type board it's got r hop yada 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 and i run an 11 one uh, how long you been running that four years four years yeah so there you go man four or five one of those how long did you run it stock? Almost never. Three years. I think last year's where I finally put all the upgrades in it. Gotcha. The only reason was because the piston stripped. After the piston stripped, I Right. Changed so there you go. For you guys asking what's a good gun to go with, man, running this thing for three years before you had to break it open to fix it. So that ain't bad. The boots I'm running are the Salomon 4D GTX. Apparently that's what the cool guys are wearing. So how long have you been running those? Six months. Six months. Six months. I picked them up from uh, my buddy KY Buzzsaw. Ooh. Over on uh, KY. KY. Over on uh, Instagram. Um, the pants I run are the Cry G3 and Multicam. Uh, I'm running Repro knee pads right now, but I do I have bought the tan like the real tan ones mm -hmm. so I can be cool guy. Uh, but they're back ordered right now. Mm. The dump pouch that I run is the first spear dump pouch. Uh, it rolls up, pretty small capacity, but it does the job. The belt that I run is the Arc'teryx H150 uh, Riggers belt. It's got a loop on it that you put your uh, lanyard on, mm -hmm. and it holds up to 2,000 pounds supposedly. I've never tested it, but it is stitched really well, and there are reports of people repelling and all that stuff. Um, this shirt that I'm running, the combat shirt that I'm running, is the Arc'teryx uh, combat shirt. I think it's called the LT Half Shell, um, and it's in multicam. Uh, best combat shirt I've ever run. Normally, when you get multicam combat shirts, they come in the, the white chest material, mm -hmm. uh, but it tends to stick out. But it tends to stick out, giveaway position. Uh, so pick up the art tabs where it's multicam all the way through. All throughout, yeah, that is nice. For sure. into your kit. Best combat and most comfy combat shirt I've ever used. The socks I'm running are, uh -huh. Nike, are Nike. uh Yeah, the big question, what the viewers want to know, man, is your underwear. <laughs> <clears throat> not not wearing any underwear. I like that. Very operator of them. And uh, I like to get. You know, there's cry underwear, and then there's there is, yeah. there's just nature. ballistic underwear. And ballistic there's just nature, and then there's just nature where I get the natural. Cut out the middleman. The wind gust keeps yeah. me cool, refreshed, high speed. And you uh -huh. got you can't have Kevlar underwear if you want to be high speed. But do you, okay, but like if if you're free balling, do you want low speed, high drag? Would that mean better or? You know, it's only high drag when you're older. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still relatively young, so I, I, I don't, right. I'm not really low. Right, you'll get there. And then I might invest in a jock strap or something. Mm, mm -hmm. Some, some, buff, 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 buff. panty look. Not, not panties. Pantaloon? Pantaloons, is that what it's called? Like the old, kind of like long gone ones? <laughs> what pirates wear? Yeah. Scurvy? Yeah. Alright. That'll and, do it. Do we get everything? Oh, and then I got my knife. Which I gotta clean. Uh, I found it. <laughs> Hopefully it wasn't used in a murder. <laughs> but it's mine now. Uh -huh. If this is your knife that you left at the map, I'm getting it up to the team. Yeah, right. Oh, and I have, uh, I run the Casio Pathfinder watch. 
Uh, it's got a compass and a stopwatch, and it tells me what day it is in the second, and it's solar, and I've never changed the battery. And I run the Garmin um, step a meter wristband with the heart rate monitor because I get points at work if I go over a certain amount of steps. And then I have a tight or a tungsten carbide wedding ring uh, when I married Kilroy's sister. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, everyone gets one of those when you marry Kilroy's sister. Tungsten wedding ring. Who else is she? I don't. I mean, just you know. All right. You see, like, someone say something? <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. And, uh, oh. Here's a... <coughs> a patch. Nailed it! I are. The boots I'm running are the Salomon 4D GTX. Apparently that's what the cool guys are running, so... How are you going on?